They have a backhoe and a government truck breaking down a building there. A building that was built by Winston Williams. Put there. For play domino, they say. Since the building, nobody tall going there. And he brought down the building to the Saturday. He broke him down. Where the money gone? Where that money gone, my friend? Who is responsible for that kind of expenditure? You remember? Come with us the bird when he was prime minister. He built a play field in the triangle up at Clear Hall. You remember that? <coughs> they had swings and so up here. The first contractor they gave the French to build it was 391,000. You don't yet. When he got the first check, when some of the people look at it, he left the job. They went for another one. They went for another one. He gone. They went for a third one. He gone too. Over a million dollars was spent on that fence up there. I ain't not done yet. I ain't not done yet, my brother. You think them not make joke with teeth in this? You think them not make joke with teeth in this? My friends, the hostel, you know the hostel up there? The Ministry of Sports say that they want to have a place where people come to get stay in there. You know who got the contract to build that? One fella, he work, he work a curtain bluff as watchman in the night. And he drive on bus in the day. I hear the contractor for up the over four million broad dad and old comrades and friends. For paint and beautify a place. Over four million dollars. <coughs> My friend, you think his auntie alone get blown? In Barbuda, they may build one justice complex before justice start to spell with J. Before justice start to spell with J. I know a J U S T I C in English now yet. Millions of dollars gone. Millions. Millions of dollars gone, my brother. And nothing getting done. My friends. My friends. You know how Hurani them had it. And I don't even know if I can talk about Hurani on the platform. My friends. Just the other day, them have been bodyguard. Horani tell me he buy ten million dollars out of property, out of building sidewalks and roads in far away country. Ten million dollars out of property. He buy over the road over there, where the old carnival used to be. He buy eighteen carat. He say he buys a house of blue water. And my friends, he's bringing in chairs and desks because government is supposed to rent upstairs. I place a con wall building. He buys 50,000 t shirts for the you people over the lunch the other night. 50,000. Somebody say he labor 10,000. Somebody say, I can take 10,000. Oh. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of them rich, all of them rich, them rat rich. When, when you look in the newspaper every day, they are foreclosing on poor people's property. When you go to the supermarket, go buy where you normally buy. When you went to the shelf, you left half day. Some man, some man I know, in 2004, they used to have three and four women. They used to have four and five cars until the red car. Right now, all they can deal with a pure home food. They can't eat no way. Money in the bank almost gone, my brother. 
who rich? You look at all who rich. Clavis Joseph rich. Everett Christian rich. Ted Isaac rich. All of them rich. That is why they can't talk nothing. They lock up on boy in the Trinidad. They arrested him in Trinidad for thief America tax money. My friends, let me tell you. Pretty soon from now, that butter is going to hit the fan. You know, the boy was hired at the airport as deputy chief of security. It is alleged that he had large savings in Abbey Bank. It is also alleged that he had shares in Jolly Beach Hotel. <coughs> One thing is not alleged that Ted Isaac, Ted Isaac was the chairman of the board at the airport. I am not saying that Ted Isaac had anything to do with his employment because I am one feel that Ted Isaac is an honorable man. All I'm telling you is stating the facts, my friend. And let me tell you how wicked this government is to poor people. All right. I have in my hand the minimum wage order. And I'm going to show you how one day, one day in your life, can make plenty. This order may be cited as the minimum wage order. And the minimum wage order became effective January 2nd, 2008. And let me tell you how wicked this government be. You remember Errol Card said that he was going to give a 10% decrease January 1st. Jackie Quinley and Joe also said that she was going to introduce the minimum wage January 1st. By introducing the minimum wage January 2nd, every public servant, every non-established worker that was working for minimum wage and less in January 1st lose about $30 every week. Let me explain why. If the minimum wage was introduced January 1st, 2008, you would get an extra $30 a week. But because you do it the second, you lose $30 every week. Finally, let me tell you, before time, when you hear a man commit suicide, that is big news. Big news. Last year in Antigua, Four people died from suicide. This year, seven of them and nine of them got saved. So this year alone, 16 persons could have lost their lives by suicide. It is always safer with labor. Good night until I come again. The voice of the oppressed and downtrodden. Make some noise, let them hear you, Antigua Barbuda. Lord of mercy, you feel them, Jack. Make them know how you feel. Make noise here tonight. Make them know how you feel. Good. All right. Beautiful. Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends and brothers and sisters and well wishers. And those of us who just recently, uh, you know, even more, uh, you know, decided well, welcome. Look at the flag all the way down by Auntie Idris. Let <laughs> see what Auntie got flag all the way down by Auntie Nystris. <laughs> she comes from the neighborhood. Please. I ain't no go back and tell you what I said, Jack. I ain't no go back I'm in no agents here. I mean, no, some of them over there peep the card and who now they peep the card and some of them also in your record.